GV Kids and Canoes just can't get enough of the Curtis Center and all of its great events that are happening in this special place. Tonight, the Curtis Center presents another fine event, Winter's Glow, and we are here to cover this performing arts event that is happening right here in Greenwood Village. Sure. Uh, we thought this was a great way to celebrate winter. You know, we love our winters in Denver. Uh, and this is a great way to celebrate it. So we've got uh, ice sculptures and fire dancers and fire jugglers. And you can see in the background, we've got somebody that makes art with a, a circular saw. Inside, we're doing a champagne tasting and a community art project. We've got giant inflatable sculptures. I mean, there's a lot of activity for people to see. And again, it all comes around that theme of sort of winter's glow. We are always looking for ways to bring the community together. And this is a great way to do it. And hopefully we've got things tonight that everybody in the whole family is going to enjoy. So a great way to bring the community together. And as you can tell, we've had a great turnout tonight. This is a great event because it's got a little something for everybody. The arts are fundamental to our village. They ennoble and inspire us, fostering creativity, goodness, and beauty. But most importantly, the arts unite our community together. And the creative people behind art make it all happen. Let's go behind the scenes to find out who just some of these creative people are. I'm an artist that works in several different mediums, uh, one of them being metal. I do uh, metal etching. Um, most of that is done live uh, as a performance, opening up for concerts and events. I also do do it in my um, studio in there I start to employ more acids and patinas and, and uh, pl copper plating and gold plating and things like that. Um, I also do oil painting and um, I'm a Luther, trained Luther, so I build guitars and do some woodworking. But metal seems to be my forte. A lot of people think about art as a noun. For me, art is a verb. It's the act of doing the art that it, it, it influences me and inspires me. So, which is why I choose to do most of my work live as a performance piece. You know, part of my background and training and, and undergrad and grad degrees are in theater and fine arts. So, um, trying to employ those two genres together um, is what I'm uh, seeking. So most of my art, I, I, if I was to describe my art, I would approach it first from being a verb and not a noun, not a final product, but an act of creating. I feel like I've been an artist my whole life, and making objects has always been really important to me. Um, and I've only recently, I guess maybe like in the last 10 years, came to the inflatable soft sculpture. But the reason that I really love that form is that it's it gives me the ability to make something really large, something that really speaks to the audience, and something that can be really playful, but I can also use a lot of really interesting forms and bring attention to them. So this piece I actually made when I was in a residency in Russia. So I stayed on an island in Russia for a month, and it was an old military island, and there were a lot of abandoned shipyards, and so I was looking at all these kind of abandoned ships and thinking about this island and so I was making this like ship monster form um, and then as I was living in this um, little village I would go every day and I would see the ice and um, it was in March so it was really cold and the ice would change every day and it was really amazing and there were these crazy like spikes that would form and then they'd break and then the next day they'd reform somehow and it seemed really magical to me so I decided to add these ice forms along the side of the piece. And that was one reason I thought this piece would be really good for an ice festival, is because it's inspired by this really beautiful Russian ice. Yeah. 
and it's also, it's, I'm really into spikes, <laughs> you can probably tell. So it's sort of also a companion piece to this like spiky ice kind of feel. Tonight we will see the work of both Eric and Nicole here at the Curtis Center as they join other artists to showcase some of their finest work, Winter Glow Style. Lots of glowing faces of all ages are here, whether they are to observe, dance around, eat s'mores, or cleanse their palate with some fruit of the vine. There is definitely something for everyone in this winter-inspired arts event. I'm here with Christine and Tom. What are you enjoying about the event? Uh, I like the stainless steel owl. I like the freedom expressed. What do you like about the event? <sighs> oh. <laughs> I like from ice, it is a horse. So it's like moving, flying, it, it, amazing. Dancing with the fire, also so great. And it seems to me dangerous. And at the same time, exciting. I, I cannot stop. Uh, moving, moving around. I like the inflatable sculptures and the girl walking around in like a caterpillar or a dragon kind of bug. Um, beautiful sculptures and very unusual. Well, we came to enjoy the fun evening. It's a nice night out and see the artwork and have some s'mores. Same thing. I think there's a lot of really great art in this building. If you missed this year's Winter Glow, don't worry, there are plans to make this event an annual tradition here in Greenwood Village. But it just goes to show, there are activities in Greenwood Village to get you off the couch during the coldest seasons of the year. One is to embrace the arts.